why would anybody want to weaken society and the family? That's the aim of revolution, isn't it? If you don't like the way things are and you've got a vision of the world, how you think it should be, and perhaps that stems from a hatred of God the Father, I think ultimately all attacks on patriarchy are aimed at that authority. So patriarchy and earthly fathers, if you attack those, you're attacking patriarchy and natural law as instituted by God. The two are connected. If you've got an authority problem with God, as well as with just human fathers as well, and Marx saw the earthly family as the key to attacking the holy family, he's got a line about that, then the two things stand and fall together. So attacks on patriarchy are ultimately attacks on Christianity. And why would someone like Marx and Engel want to dissolve these structures? What is in it for them? And what is in it for today's Marxists to attack the family and Christianity? Ultimately, it is to do with power. And if you want to think about the family as being like the last defense against the total power of the state, all totalitarian systems, they all go for children first. They try to get the children when they're young and they see themselves as in opposition to the family. So if we can break that down and make people more powerless, then the state can step in and fulfill that role. So the weaker people get because they haven't got strong fathers to depend on, the more the state has to step in to play the part. And I think one of the most tragic results of that has actually been in the black community in the US, in the ghettos. If you think about the way that the black male in particular has been supplanted by the state and single motherhood has been basically almost a state-sponsored program. Men have been made dispendable. They've lost their dignity as providers for the family. And it comes back to that point I was making earlier about how you see in hip hop, rap culture, gang culture, some of the most obviously masculine men. And yet there's something that's not quite right there. It's not connected to women, not connected to children. The state fulfills that role instead. And as a consequence, the whole communities are weaker. I think you see it working like an acid, the acid of liberalism, where people lose their bonds to each other and the structure of society begins to break down.